Seattle. The Kingdom. August 28, 1976. The North American Soccer League's ultimate destination. Soccer Bowl 76. are evenly matched. Minnesota and Toronto have both blasted past their recent opponents with increasing ease and momentum. Minnesota reached Seattle with a solid semifinal victory over San Jose, while Toronto was knocking off the favored defending champions, Tampa Bay. Toronto features Eusebio, the great Portuguese star. Their side has a new goalkeeper, Bileki. Minnesota's exceptional attackers include Alan Willey and Ron Futcher, who have scored 30 goals between them this season. has ever repeated as NASL champion in the league's 10-year history. Nothing is sacred in soccer. Excellence is more vital than reputation. Minnesota starts out well, pushing the ball around successfully. But Toronto signals its intention early, stifling virtually every thrust that Minnesota can put together. The passing is crisp and careful in midfield. Shots on goal are frustrated on both ends. Early in the game, a pattern is emerging. Toronto sometimes seems to have 20 players around its goal to fend off the Minnesota attack. Minnesota's daring passing and crossing patterns become more errant. And always, there are the Toronto fullbacks and Bileki. And Bileki is brilliant. increases its pace, the rough and tumble aspects of the game manifest themselves. There is still finesse and technique and tactics, and there is now occasional reckless abandon. Fouls are called and free kicks are awarded as referee Gordon Hill keeps the game under control. finds himself with a direct free kick from just outside the penalty area. <laughs> Toronto has scored past stunned goalkeeper Jeff Barnett. The tension is broken. take their halftime rest, Eusebio already seems to be plotting the second half strategy.
the king of soccer, Pele, is at Soccer Bowl 76 to present the NASL's Outstanding North American Player Award to Arnie Mauser. In the second half, Minnesota's frustration continues unabated. The psychological advantage inherent in scoring the first goal in such an important match is clearly Toronto's. Toronto starts to increase its own pressure. Suddenly, lightning strikes with over 30 minutes remaining. Ivan Lukacevic sidesteps Frank Spragan and slams his side second goal into the net. Two to nothing, a startling break. When we see the score again from ground level, the goal is cleanly executed. Toronto presses its enormous advantage. Yvonne Gurnia has played with Toronto in just a few matches, but his incredible wing play has contributed sensationally to his side's predominance. And here, in the King Dome, he is spectacular. Eusebio valiantly continues his full throttle attack. Minnesota has few responses left now. Still, Toronto has some pent-up energy in reserve. Seven minutes from the end of the match, they seal the route. Gurnia shoots, but it is up to Iver Ferreira to knock in the rebound. Toronto is champion of all of North America.